And welcome into the Wisconsin Golf Show. This week we're coming to you from Vitense Golf Land, one of the great treasures here in Madison, not only for golf, but for family entertainment as we get on here in the summer. I'm joined by my good friend and boss, Joel Weitz. Thanks for uh, having us out here today. Oh, it's great to have you out, exciting. Yeah, we got a lot of great stuff we're gonna showcase here over the next 30 minutes, but I figured we'd start with one of the signature spots here at Vitance. That would be these two amazing mini golf courses. People don't realize that there are two separate courses out here, right? So you got options to play mini golf if you wanna come out and enjoy a nice summer day here at Vitense. We do, we have two courses, as you said, over behind us is the California course to our left, and on the right is the Wisconsin course. Theme could be lightly themed, but uh, <laughs> you have to use your imagination in miniature golf. So behind us, uh, the course on the right, now looking out the camera area, is uh, representing different marks in California, a little redwood or the deadwood forest up there. You go nice, down the slide. Nice. We've got the San Diego Zoo over there where the giraffe is. So the idea with the, our miniature golf course is not only just putting, but the integration of playground equipment. So going down slides, down the mountain over there, and then we have Misty Beach where we've got a little mister that can cool you down a little bit. <laughs> I love it. On the Wisconsin side, we're putting through the silos, and then we're going, we start through the the Mount, Mount George. Mount George. Slide right through Mount George, down to the lower part of the green. We've got a lighthouse of Door County in the back, where you're going tomorrow. Yeah, let's Wonderful. go. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we provide a lot of interactive elements, and yeah, we've had it since the early 60s. Since I came here in 92, of course, we've made a lot of improvements. A lot of carpet replacements over the years. Well, I mean, I grew up here playing on this. You know, I'd ride my bike with my friends during summer. I mean, it, you talk about iconic. It's a Madison, you know, institution. And, um, you know, like you said, it's not just mini golf. I brought when my kids were little, climbing on the slides, the jungle gym. It's, it's literally an interactive mini golf course, isn't it? Oh, yeah, and don't forget, uh, we have Lambeau Field way in the back where you take a monorail, score a touchdown, then you can do the you can measure your jump. There you go. The Lambeau Leap. Then the next hole, well, it was formerly Miller Park, but now American Field. So you take the, it used to be called Bernie Sly. Yeah. Whatever it's called now, you still take it's the still slide. It's still Bernie Sly. We'll okay. check on that. All right, uh, should we go check out the indoor? Let's we go. got an indoor mini golf too. Let's go check that out. All right, sounds good. And we are now in the indoor mini golf course here at Vitense Golf Land. And Joel, uh, wow, what a, we, I was just talking to Jim. This setup is amazing. You got a river in here. We're standing in Camp Randall. You got the state capitol. What an incredible uh, area here on this indoor mini. Yeah, this indoor miniature golf course, Madison theme, was built in 2006. So it's been here, hard to believe, 17 years already, but this is all themed after Madison. Primarily historic Madison landmarks, and then they're sponsoring businesses, so it's a little historical perspective on the businesses too. It's also roughly geographically designed too. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's So you accurate. start on the east side at the Dane County Regional Airport, make your way around the Governor's Mansion, Tenney Park, Old Brick Gardens in the corner. Then you go into the two black light rooms. So those are exciting. We have the uh, little fireworks display. Actually, now it's fantasy and lights. Oh, nice. So a little yeah, winter yeah. representation. Monona Terrace, obviously, the big centerpiece is the state capitol. And that is number nine. Then we swing our way around Cole Center. As you said, we've got Camp Randall Fieldhouse. Yeah. And then you end up right at Vitense Golf Land here on the west side. I love it. And the boats, you got the, the lake, or even Madison loves our lakes, right? You got the lakes right here in the middle. You can actually drive the boats. I was driving them while we were setting the cameras up. So much fun. Oh, you know what you do? You start up at Bascom Hall, slide down the hill, go into State Street. Then you go right to Memorial Union there and enjoy the view. And uh, before we get out of this segment, uh, you know, we're going to show some more of the outdoor property, but you got a couple of awesome indoor simulators inside here. You know, if you want to play indoor simulator golf in the winter, you know, you got soccer or other sports, you got a couple of cool simulators in here as well. Yeah, we had those a couple years ago, and the nice thing about this company that makes this simulator is that it's excellent in graphics for golf, but it also has multi-sporting. Yeah. So as you said, you can do 
soccer, football, baseball, lacrosse. It's all these different sports that are you can use the simulator. And then there's some zombie ball that people love throwing at some zombies out there. So <laughs> yeah, multi-sporting aspect is, is really important. That's a pretty good chunk of the usage on the yeah. simulator. It's awesome. All right, I'm gonna go drive some more of the boats and then we'll come back and uh, spend some more time here at Vitens Golf all Land right. on the Wisconsin Golf Show. And welcome back to the Wisconsin Golf Show. This week we're coming to you from Vi Tense Golf Land. Again, joined by Joel White's the owner, and we are in one of my absolutely favorite spots that I pretty much live in this time of year, Joel. You can attest to that. That would be the golf suites here at Vitens. We're actually in the brand new suites you guys just built that open up this spring. Obviously the, the ones below us as well, but talk about the golf suites. So many cool features. I know we're gonna get into the top tracer here and show how that works, but just talk about the suites if you wanna come by yourself. You know, hit a bucket, have a beer, come with your buddies, or do what I did last week. Uh, my friend's daughter had her birthday party here. I mean, you pretty much you can do anything up here, right? Those are some nice highlights already. All right, right? About. Well, in 2014, we built our first set of golf suites. That was in our lower level to the left, and that was eight suites with 16, no, sorry, 18, 18 bays. And we provide grill and bar service from our signature hole grill and bar directly to your suite. And then in 2018, we renovated our lower right covered area and added another eight with 18 bays. So we have 36 covered heated bays, all equipped with top tracer, which said we'll talk about in a moment. And due to the activity there and just seeing how much fun people were having for parties, for corporate outings, we decided to build a whole nother set of them on our upper level here. So now we have nine more suites we added with 20 bays. So in total, it's fun to have a double decker, two levels <laughs> with 25 suites They're and amazing. 56 bays, all usable year round with the heat. So it's, uh, it's quite a, just a fun thing to use year round and all levels of players just have a fun time out here. It's uh, another great activity to do in the outdoors. And I can attest, I played on a Saturday morning in January. I think it was 20 or 30 below wind chill, and I didn't feel a thing. We, I played 18 holes on the top tracer and had a blast. So good, good lead in the top tracer. People don't realize that you can actually play 18 holes of golf here. I just did it last week with a couple of buddies uh, after work, and I think we played St. Andrews or something. And it's it's legit simulator golf. You know, you got the targets out on the range, and you can play an actual round of golf here. Now, did you mention that you were wearing just your golf shirt when it was 30 <laughs> below? I think I had a hoodie on, but I might have been sweating by the end of it. Those heaters get toasty. Yeah, they get very toasty, all right. Well, yeah, this Top Tracer tool is amazing. It was called Pro Tracer, developed in 2017. We were one of the first seven facilities in the country to use it. And then Top Golf uh, bought the software and the whole technology and it changed to Top Golf, which, uh, or, or Top Tracer which you'll see on the tour too on TV. It shows the animated ball flight, carry, spin rates, and all that kind of thing. Well, they've adapted it for the golf range, and there are a lot of different modes to have a great time. One is virtual golf. In the winter time, we have what's called the He-Man League. We had over 100 players, another league, another 80. She-Ra. She-Ra Give too. a shout out to the ladies. Uh, women's league, so it's fun. Play nine holes, Pebble Beach, St. Andrews, all these great golf courses. And then there's uh, just, Another really cool thing, just for practicing on your own, you download the Top Tracer Range app, and then you have the opportunity to use My Practice. You select the club, for example, your seven iron, and it tracks all these different variables, spin rate, carry distance, curvature, right or left, by club. So enter your driver, seven iron, whatever it is. It tracks the history by day, by week, by month, by year, so you've got all this to continue to assess the quality of your game and hopefully after a few lessons, 
You'll see well, the improvement. Well, we're gonna, I'm gonna have to practice here a little bit. We're gonna test it out. And what's so amazing about that, I mean, I remember going to the, you know, growing up, going to the range, and you just try and hit that, you know, wedge out to the 100 yard sign, and you know, you hope you hit it. Now, like you said, it tells me my ball speed. It tells me the arc of the shot. It tells me exactly to a foot how far it went. I mean, you can, if you're looking to work on practicing your game, um, the top tracer just come to the range is amazing. Now let's take a look at this top tracer range monitor here. So you can see we have 10 different modes. Joe has entered as player, playing all by himself today, but this is just practice mode. So warm up, for example, is to track your shots and it animates the last three shots. So the variables we talked about earlier is the carry distance, ball speed, launch angle, curvature, right or left, just great variables to analyze your game. And there you see the animated ball flight. The entire system is GPS mapped. So we have all these different targets out there, flags, signs that are precisely measured, which you'll see on here. So these are exact measurements from all of the 56 bays that we have. So let's go back to some of the other options here. And we'll go back to the main menu. And virtual golf we talked about. Another one I really like is called Approach Challenge. It's just nine shots, the final shot into the hole. So here we have Pebble Beach Golf Links. Some random holes, nine of them. For example, uh, we have hole 16 or two, number 18, of course. But it's just the final shot, so it's a nine shot game. It's a lot of fun, very, very competitive. Something you can do uh, just as you're practicing on your own or with your some friends, whatever. Enjoy that. So we'll go back. And now we have these different options closest to the pin. And here's one, if you're just starting out playing, you've got young kids who are having a challenge, you've been making contact, you go to my, or yeah, go fish. All right, now, if the kid misses the ball, look at, we've got the shark swimming out here, the buoy to separate, the longer shots, and then if no one makes contact, hey, Joe made contact there, let's see what kind of fish he caught. No, he missed the grid. Missed that highlighted circle. But nicely done, you got the red snapper still. Now, hang on a second, Joe, let me show you this. So if he misses it, we go help shot, then the kids can still have fun. They got something, maybe the tin. Oh, a little Moorish idol, okay. So then you can check out your aquarium, which is awesome. So you keep track of all the fish you caught. Goal is to try to get it in the light blue area where the fish are swimming and good shot northern pike hey all right all right so uh we're gonna give a few more rips here on the top tracer and we're gonna showcase more of this amazing property vitens golf land we're coming back right here on the wisconsin golf show Welcome back to this week's Wisconsin Golf Show at Vitense Golfland. We're outside on the patio here at the beautiful signature hole, grill and bar, great food, great atmosphere. You finish, you know, hitting some balls, Joel, or maybe you just want to come for lunch or enjoy this beautiful weather, sit down here on the patio. You guys got a lot of great amenities here for food and beverage at Vitense, don't you? Yeah, we built the uh, first operation of food and beverage back when we completed this building in 2006. And since then, we've added a lot added the bar, the signature whole grill and bar in 2016. And we have all these different event spaces. This last year we completed the tea box. It's on the back side of our building with covered canopy, a great event area in back of our golf suites. And then we have a nice terrace area out here to dine. We have a covered area on the front side of the building. And then behind Joe and me. The brand uh, new we, beer garden. Yes, we have the brand new beer garden with some games, free games. You can go down and have a little fun down there. And we do have server staff in all these areas. Of course, we have a separate staff at the bar down there. But inside, no matter what area you're sitting at, come on out and we'll deliver the product with the QR codes that we have out here. So, of course, we have the grill and bar service directly to the golf suites too on all 56 of the top tracer base. 
And my kid's favorite would be the chocolate shop ice cream. And when you come right in, you, you, you're greeted by the ice cream stand. So get that sweet tooth, nice summer day, grab an ice cream, right? Oh, as the sign says inside, ice cream solves everything. <laughs> okay, it's chocolate shop ice cream, 16 flavors, and you're right, you can't miss it. It's right in front of the lobby. I love chocolate shop ice cream. Most people do. If you don't, what's wrong with that? Exactly. What's wrong? <laughs> Well, it's come quite a long way since when I worked here in the mid 90s and I was serving slushies where you just rip the handle and I'd make my uh, my half green and half cherry slushie. You guys, I mean, full bar. I mean, you guys have a bunch of craft beers on, on tap here. You have drink specials. Uh, I mean, heck, I've been here. I had, I had the what the bottomless mimosas here a couple weeks ago on a Sunday morning. So you got pretty much everything. Yeah, the Bloody Marys. Uh, well, any day, of course. But yeah, the grill has improved so much. Our staff there. And our manager, Marco, just does an outstanding job. The cheese curds, pizza, no matter what it is. Joel Deluxe is my uh, favorite. Oh, yeah. The that Joel one pizza. After me. Okay, yeah. well, it's not even my favorite, but I still like it. <laughs> it's pretty good. And you, uh, we'll show off some of the, the, the group space here. Um, you know, uh, you guys host corporate events here. I know you have, you know, business meetings in the morning. Um, you know, if you're looking for a space, you know, to have a, a birthday. I was in here the other day working. There was a birthday party going on. I mean, if you're just looking for a nice space to have a group outing, you can provide that here too, right? Yeah, we have a lot of office meetings here, just corporate outings, team building type things, uh, bachelor, bachelorette parties, you name it. There's all kinds of different events. Sometimes even rent out the entire facility. We don't do it very often, but we have people do that too. We have big events even out in the golf suites where we've occupied all 20 of the new suites or, or nine suites with 20 bays on the whole upper level so quite a variety of options whether you have it in the dining room our front community rooms back tea box or even uh, reserving the terrace out here or sometimes out in the hub on our par 3 yeah. golf course well, and you know, like we were just in the golf suites, you know, you can order, a, you know, a meal. I've, I've sat in there and hit golf balls, take a break. You got those nice couches, order up a burger, get a beer and just, you know, have your dinner while you're, you know, in the, in the golf suites. Yeah, and when it's really comfortable out and perfect temperature, just make sure you wake up when the food arrives. <laughs> Well, everything looks great. I think uh, we've covered uh, a lot. I mean, I'm pretty hungry, I will say this. I don't know if it's pizza or ice cream or maybe a slice of pizza then some ice cream. Yeah, well, a lot of options like we talked about. So we're fortunate to be able to offer all those different things, the tap beers and all the different drinks you can get today. We carry a, a wide variety. We have our daily special. So yeah, just come on out and look at the environment. It's changed so much since I came here in 1992. Uh, improvements in the miniature golf, adding this building in 2006, adding the bar and all the suites. So it's really uh, a variety of uh, areas that you can really just come out and have a great time. Well, speaking of that, we're not done yet because another improvement, you guys have recently redone the new par three. We're gonna close the show and go out and show the new par three here at Vitens coming up on the Wisconsin Golf Show. Wisconsin Golf Show coming to you from Vitens Golf Land this week at Madison's West Side. And one of the great features, not only of this golf course, Joel, but I would say anywhere maybe in the state, maybe the country, the par three <laughs> under the lights. I've played it many times. The first ever average Joe, in fact, was here under the lights. Talk about this par three. It's a staple here in Madison. Uh, it's been around for decades. The lighted golf course, so cool. Well, my grandfather, George Vitens, bought this property in 1955 when there was absolutely nothing out here. And they thought it was a little crazy to build a, a range, a golf course this far outside of town. And you look at today, it's pretty amazing. But he had the foresight back then, uh, starting with that double deck range. But then he built this nine hole par three, the first lit golf course in the state. And currently, it is the only lit golf course in the state. So he put some new lights on here, of course, with the uh, LED and uh, just the, uh, the illumination they provide now. It's just uh, much brighter at night. It's great to get out here. The holes vary from our shortest hole here, number four, from 60 yards out to 130. 
So it's a great test of the short game. We have a lot of greens that are elevated, so it really tests the, the chipping. But overall, it doesn't take long to play either, which is nice. And since our hours are from 8 in the morning to 11.30 at night on Friday and Saturday, you can tee off as late as 10.30 <laughs> That's awesome. and still make it around. <laughs> That's awesome. And uh, I got to give a shout out to my guy, Eric. I know you guys have put in a ton of work uh, renovating this par three. And it's starting right here, now the, uh, the water hole, hitting over the fountain here on four. A lot of great improvements, a lot of new challenging holes that people haven't played here in a couple of years. Kind of redid the, the layout, right, of this par three. Yeah, we did. We rerouted it. So the number one is very different. It shoots out to where the old number six green was. And it, uh, just uh, the flow of the course, navigating through it, we get out here to number four, right behind us, a little 60 yarder going over that fountain. So now that's a different kind of water hazard, isn't it? <laughs> that's a double water hazard. <laughs> double water hazard <laughs> on windy days. But uh, yeah, it's only a 60 yard shot, but you know, when you're playing on a full regulation, regular length course, it's uh, these shots are the ones you ultimately have, which is a great thing about a par three. Every hole, you're gonna to get to that range of those shorter shots. So just come out here and work on your short game. And that's just an example of, you know, one of the holes where it's uh, undulating green. And uh, it takes some pretty good precise shot making to shoot a good number out here. Yeah, and for, I mean, for a par three, the conditions are awesome. I mean, the greens are pretty, pretty well manicured and, and maintained. So you're getting, like you said, you're getting an honest round of short game golf if you come out and play the par three. Yeah, it's not quite U.S. Open conditions, but, cer <laughs> but certainly for a par three, it's very playable. And yeah, unfortunately, we don't have a very sophisticated irrigation system, but certainly the greens are watered. And it is, uh, yeah, it's a fun course. and. Not only that, but a few years ago, this uh, sport called foot golf right. was developed, and that's a whole interesting aspect. And we're a great golf course. You use the same infrastructure of a course, and you play golf with basically a soccer ball. So behind us, you can see there's a white flag and then a red flag, and the white flags represent this 22-inch diameter hole you kick that soccer ball. Now in this hole, you don't want to kick it through the water, of no, course. No, I'm not you're, going you're in gonna, after You're going to boot it around the other tee. I just did my hair this morning, <laughs> so I keep that nice. I got my TV hair going today. You do, <laughs> as always. Well, and you know, the nice thing about the par three is you can just right, you know, walk in. I, you know, I'm here in the mornings oftentimes hitting balls, you know, and there's you know, people just, you know, uh, a group of ladies coming out that play. Uh, maybe the old fellas come out as a group. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a fun little thing that you can do as a, you know, kind of a group activity. Or as you said, right, I know my son and his buddies, they come, they played it on a Friday night, you know, after, uh, after work or after school. Yeah, for those that work all day and have to work till nine o'clock at night, yeah, you can still play some golf, which is fantastic. Come on out nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, you still make it around. It only takes 45 minutes to play it if you're just on your own. So it's a great way to play the game. Okay, another beautiful feature we have here at Vitesense, maybe before Joel or after your round of uh, par three or uh, the golf suites is working on your short game. You got a putting green behind us and a chipping green complete with sand traps, bunkers. So you can work on, we were talking about short game out on the par three. You can cover all the short game here. Just come and putt for a day or come and chip for a day. <laughs> Yeah, we do have three practice greens, and we dedicate one just to putting over here. So it's set up right now. There's another uh, PGA Junior group coming out to use that. And uh, back here, we have a green that's used for chipping, putting. We also have an academy green that we use for our teaching programs from Vitens Golf Academy with a separate tee area, has its own bunker. And the great thing about these areas, of course, is they're free. Free to the public. Out, come out anytime, then enjoy some beverages and food from Signature Hole Grill and Bar while you're out here. It's such a great way to work on your short game though. And of course the golf range is open till close, has lights too. All activities here are under the lights, so open from 8 a.m. till 11.30 on the weekends. Well, Have it's, fun in all areas. Uh, it's, I, I could spend a whole day here taping the show, uh, but unfortunately we have to uh, wrap it up. But hey, I really appreciate the time today. Had a lot of fun. Uh, Vitensgolfland.com, right? Nope, Vitense.com. 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 <laughs> Put that one on the bottom of the screen. Thanks a lot to Joel and his incredible staff here. We uh, had a great time at Vitense. We'll see you next week here on the Wisconsin Golf Show.